Praise be to Jesus Christ. Dear children, Jesus loves children and he said, bring the children to me. This whole year, we are going to learn about the beautiful creation of God, the beautiful world around us. Today, let's continue with the remaining part of chapter 1. How beautiful is this world? First of all, let us begin with a small prayer because prayer is like talking to God. We are inviting God to come to us during this class and asking Him for His blessings. Join your hands and repeat after me. Lord God, be with us today as we learn more about your creation. Help us to praise you and love you. In the last class, we learned about God's creations. We saw how beautiful is the earth we live in. We also saw how beautiful the flowers are and we sang a beautiful song about twinkling stars. Then we saw how God created the bright and shining sun for us and the lovely moon which we see during the night. We also learned that we should say hi to the sun and the moon and the stars, isn't it? We also made some interesting moon and stars using the paper plate, isn't it? Did you color them nicely? Did you enjoy making them? Did you hang it on your window? and send a pic to your teacher? I am sure your teacher liked it a lot. Now, let's continue to see what a beautiful world our God has made for us. As we have flowers in different colors and varieties, we also have a wide variety of fruits and vegetables in different colors and tastes. Can you tell me which is your favorite fruit? Children, God has given all the fruits and vegetables to us because it is good for our health. When we eat vegetables and fruits regularly, we get nice vitamins. We become strong. Who can show me the action of strong? God has made the lovely grass and plants so that the animals also can eat them and be healthy small seeds and worms for the birds to feed on. Isn't it so beautiful that God has planned to take care of all of us? Do you want to see beautiful pics of fruits and vegetables? So delicious they are, aren't they? I am sure your mama and dad bring nice fruits and vegetables home for you, isn't it? Have you seen the wonderful birds in the sky? Such variety of colors and how wonderfully they fly. 
birds make such lovely sounds also some of them sing some of them make small small sounds chirp chirp isn't it have you seen how birds make small nests near your house they pick up small small straw and sticks god takes care of them all have you seen their nests have you seen how birds lay small eggs in their nests and how they take care of their little ones and god has created animals in all sizes big ones and small little ones ones that run and ones that crawl the big elephants that like to eat the tall grass and the monkeys that love to eat bananas the king of the jungle lion and how he makes those scary sounds roar roar can you make the sound of a duck quack quack that was so cute let's say it again quack quack now do you know the sound of a cat meow meow once again meow meow it was fun isn't it let us thank sweet jesus by singing a beautiful song on how god is so good god is so good god is so good god is so good he is so good to me children repeat after me God is so good God is so good God is so good He is so good to me
your mama and papa they will be nicely surprised isn't it sing this song after your evening prayers also now let us memorize a small bible verse thanking god for this beautiful world that he has given us say after me all things came into being through him and without him not one thing came into being from gospel of john chapter 1 verse 3 will you repeat this bible verse during your daily prayers Yes. Do you want to do a nice activity for this week? I am sure you will enjoy it. Draw and color any of God's creations. Simple drawing and coloring with crayons or color pencils is fine. Like apple, sun, river, anything that comes to your mind and on top of your chart draw a simple pic of jesus before we end today's class let us recall what we learned today we learned that god has given us such a variety of fruits and vegetables for what for us to eat and become strong he has also made lovely animals and birds huge varieties of them in so many colors and shapes god made all these wonderful creations because he loves us so much We also learn a wonderful song. God is so good. Did you all enjoy learning the song? Children, do you remember what we did at the beginning of today's class? We said a small prayer to invite Jesus into our hearts. Isn't it? Let's end today's class with a small prayer too. Lord God, the creator of this universe, we thank you for all your blessings and protection. So dear children, we will meet again next week to discuss the next chapter. Praise be to Jesus Christ. <laughs>